hello friends let's discuss today the two dimensional array writing of data into an array and how to fetch data from a two dimensional array and how it works so previously i have um, uploaded one video for one dimensional array like writing a data in one dimensional array and how to fetch it from there today we will discuss it for two dimensional arrays so i have taken one sample program identification division program id all these details i have written now as we know we have to define the array under data division working storage section correct so in working storage section we already know that we don't declare the occurs clause in level number one because we have to find out the value of a particular thing suppose there is a district under the district there are so many schools each school has so many sections if you have to gather the total data of the district of the schools and sections under the district the district will come here so it cannot be occurred so it will have the total value so in 0 1 level number i have written ws table under this i have taken 0 2 level number ws a occurs three times indexed by i so three occurrences i have taken ws a has been divided into two parts one is ws b one is ws c WSC picture clause X of four value ABC. WSC occurs three times indexed by J. And the value of each occurrence of C is WSD, which is DEF. Now you, you need to understand this concept that for each occurrence of WSA, there is one ABC and three DEF. Okay, for first occurrence of WSA, there is one WSB and three WSC. For second occurrence of WSA, there is one WSB, three WSC. For third occurrence of WSA, there is one WSB, three WSC. Now for each occurrence, what is the value of WSA then? ABC, three DEF. So it will become like for first occurrence of WSA, since WSC is the combination of these two values. Now for each occurrence of WSA, the value will be ABC, since the length is 4, there will be one space and three occurrences of WSC. Each occurrence is DEF. So there will be DEF, DEF, DEF. Spaces will be there because the length is 3, but the total length I have taken here is 4. So this will be the value of each occurrence of WSA, first occurrence. Now, the second occurrence will also be same. Third occurrence will also be same. So I have written all the occurrences separately one by one, but in the spool, it will come in one line. In a horizontal line, all the occurrence values will come here. A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, D, E, F. Then on the right hand side, A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, D, E, F. Again, A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, D, E, F. The total value will be the value of WS table. The total value will be the value of WS table because WSA comes under WS table. Now what I have written is if you have to write the data into an array and after writing into fetch also so as we already know to write the data into an array we need occurs clause but to fetch the data from the array we need indexed by index so now wherever you have occurs clause there you need to define index also indexed by i for the second occurrence there is indexed by j so i and j are two different indexes indices we are using in this program okay now First of all, I have displayed WS table. I have displayed WS table in the program. And then I have set IJ both to one. Since indices are not variables, we cannot define them in working storage section. This will be already, whenever you define anything, uh, any occurs clause with index by, this will add the feature of fetching data from the array. So this does not become a normal working storage variable. And we cannot use move add those kind of things we have to use set verb to set the values to them so i have written set i j to one then the value of i and j both are becoming one then i'm writing set i j up by one then i'm increasing the value of i and j by one so the value of both is two now so finally i have written display w s a i so it is becoming w s a two and then i'm writing w s C two comma two. Now this is very tricky. You need to understand this. Whenever it becomes WSA two, how many occurrences do we have in WSA three? 
and what is the index of WSAI? So I have written WSAI, that means WSA2. It means what is the value of the second occurrence of WSA, which is this one. The first occurrence is the first line, second is second line, third is third line. So the output of this one will be this one. See, all the occurrence values will be same since I have hard coded. Okay, but you need to understand which occurrence it is talking about. Third one is uh, next display is WSC i comma j, WSC two comma two. So i is the index of WSA, j is the index of WSC. The meaning of this is what is the value of WSC? What is the second occurrence value of WSC for second occurrence value of WSA? J is associated with WSC. I is associated with WSA. The meaning of WSC2 to come is what is the value of the second occurrence of WSC for the second occurrence of WSA? Okay, you have to come from the beginning. So there are three occurrences in the in the first uh, statement WSA. So I need to find the value of the second occurrence of WSA first of all, and then for the second occurrence of WSA, what is the second occurrence of WSC? 2 comma 2 if it is 3 comma 3 it will be for the third occurrence of wsc wsa what is the third occurrence of wsc now since it is 2 and 2 for the second occurrence of wsa this is this is the second occurrence of wsa and the second occurrence of wsc this entire thing is second occurrence of wsc sorry the occurrence of wsc from there the second occurrence is this one in the the middle one this entire thing is the second occurrence of WSA and DEF, 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 all three are WSC. First occurrence of WSC, second occurrence of WSC, third occurrence. So the mid DEF will be the value of this display. So this is how second uh, two dimensional arrays will work. I will make more videos where I will take data from input file or somewhere or I will pass it from JCL and I will show you when the values will be different. It will be easier for you to understand how the values are being picked up from where to where, from where. Okay, for one dimensional array, how is it being picked up? For two dimensional arrays, how is it being picked up? So let us first compile this program. So array three is the name of the program. So it is successful. Then I don't have any files in this program, so I'll comment out the files. So I will submit the JCL now. It is successful. Now let us go to spool. If you go to sysout, so there are three displays in this program. Display WS table first. So WS tables values A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, D, E, F. Then again A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, D, E, F. Then again A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, D, E, F. As I said, each occurrence of WS A is the combination of B and C. The value of B is A, B, C and value of C is DEF, DEF, DEF. So the value of one occurrence of WSA is 1 ABC, 3 DEF. Then since there are three occurrences, the total value of WSA will be 1 ABC, 3 DEF, 1 ABC, 3 DEF, 1 ABC, 3 DEF. Then the next display is WSA, I. I is 2, so WSA is second occurrence. So second occurrence we already know. If this is the total value, Okay, this is the first occurrence of WSA. This is the second occurrence of WSA. This is third. So this will be our display. Next display, WSA second occurrence. Now from the second occurrence of w WSA, what is the second occurrence of WSC? This is the third display. So this is our second occurrence of WSA. From here, which is the second occurrence of WSC? This one, this middle DF. This is first occurrence. This is second. This is third. So this DF has come as output. So this is how two dimensional data will work, two dimensional array. I will show you more programs 
where I will take data from input file or from some other from some uh, JCL and I will show you when the values will be different. I will write those data into a file and I will uh, write into an array and I will show how the values are being picked up. When the values are different, it will be easier for you to understand. Now, here everything is hard coded. So it looks like everything is same, but I have shown you how which one is being picked up. Okay, which is the first occurrence of WSA, which is the second occurrence, which is the third occurrence. So this is third, second occurrence of WSA, and this middle one is the second occurrence of WSA, second occurrence of WSC. So this is how the codes are manipulated and it works. So hope this video will help you to understand two dimensional arrays in a basic way, but I'll come up with more videos. Till then keep studying and also keep suggesting me more videos. So thank you, see you in the next video.